Okay, here we have lot number, uh, I don't remember, I'll tell you when I see the sticker. So it's a, uh, this is a, hmm, maybe I should start over. Here we have another auction lot for our August 3rd, 2022 auction here in Langley, British Columbia. We are all city auctioneers. That's the website we use right there, bcsurplus.com. And it is a uh, 2004, uh, 2004 um, Volvo tandem axle highway tractor. So um, this is a, uh, um, an estate vehicle, private vehicle, um, basically an estate vehicle because the uh, gentleman can't drive anymore. So uh, this is selling in the uh, August 3rd, 2022 sale. The vehicle was driven to our location uh, the uh, commercial vehicle inspection did expire, I believe, in May of this year. So, but uh, it does start, run, drive. It looks like it's got uh, some pretty recent uh, rubber on the front axle on the rear here. And uh, some decent rubber on the rear axle. Uh, aluminum wheels. What are these? These are 11R225s. And uh, Roadmaster, so and two belly tanks, and an air slide fifth wheel, I think is what they call that. Again, I'm an auctioneer, I am not a truck driver, so I don't know all the terms, but uh, air ride suspension, I see that. I call I think they call that an interlock where you know one axle can be driven through the other axle so like I said seems to be some more recent tires here and uh, some uh, older ones here trucks gonna be going by me right now so I'm gonna lose you So this is a sleeper cab. Uh, can't get the hood open. Um, one of the uh, the passenger side latch on this side right here, something doesn't release, and I can't get the hood to pop open. Um, looks like it's a Volvo D12 engine, but that's not confirmed. I'll climb up now and, uh, oh, I'll just point out a couple of things here. A little bit of rust there, perforation. Some he's spray, spray painted over a few spots, and uh, so yeah, you know, it's a uh, I'll just give you this, and then I'll just kind of slowly go down this for you. So, front axle 12,500. Uh, first axle in the rear, second axle in the rear, cab paint, chassis paint, so. There's pictures of all that stuff up on the uh, auction site when you go to log in and do your bidding. So, cab's pretty dirty. I wouldn't say pretty dirty, the cab is dirty. Uh, you know, bunks in the back. There's a fridge in the back, it looks like. There are some spare parts, uh, lights and stuff like this uh, in, the, in that little box up there. There are some uh, spare parts and tools in the uh, two storage compartments. Um, starts and runs couple of love uh, of uh, warning signs coming up when you fire it up I'll just kind of go through that here let me see um, Next 
So it looks like there's four warnings. There they are. Uh, 1,500,275.5 kilometers. Um, the gentleman did say that he'd had a bunch of major engine work done a couple of years ago. Of course, there's no paperwork to confirm that. Uh, transmission is uh, appears to be a uh, Eaton Fuller 13 speed. Right there, and there's where I say it looks like a, a Volvo D12 engine. So... But, uh, you know, she's probably a vehicle that will uh, give you a bunch of hours and uh, put a bunch of money in your pocket, and away you go. So, like I said, we've, uh, it was driven here. We have driven it around the yard. Everything seems to move and operate as required. Power windows, power locks, air conditioning. You know, there's the, uh, looks like the slide and the, uh, you know, I haven't checked all the buttons because, of course, we don't uh, do all of that. And that's for you guys to do when you come for the viewing. So I'll just walk outside so you can listen to the engine. was the uh, driver's side the uh, certification expired of uh, May of 2022 this is the passenger side so there you go so this is lot G218, selling on August the 3rd, 2022 in Langley. Highest bid wins, no reserves, no minimums. If you're the last bidder, you are the winner. Hope you get another bye-bye auction.